Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today I'm going to show how to design flat slab using Takla Structural Designer. First of all, we'll go to a new file and we'll go to model setting from this icon. From model setting, we'll use the design code. I'll use the ACI and then units I'm using metric units then ok after that we'll go to the model and from model we'll decide the grids from a rectangular result ok from here we'll select the grid color next next this is also next then from here in x direction i'm going to use five base each one six meter length okay next in y direction i'll use also five base each one of six meter length next next finish okay this is the grids and here i have 3d view and 2d view and also i can by dragging this 3D, I can turn it to two windows. After that, I will decide the construction levels. Now I have only the base level as 00. zero. I will insert one level above. And from here, I will select it is SSL, structural slab level. And I can give the by level or spacing. I'll use the spacing 3.6 from the base, and it's unique. Okay. After that, I'll go to the concrete columns and click column, and I'll get the property here for the columns. It's starting from the base level and top level. It's the first floor level and it is a concrete and from here i can decide the grade of the concrete i will use 6000 psi and the column section 400 by 400 okay reinforcement grade 60 and deform it's okay and the concrete cover 40 mm and now by dragging like this a rectangle over all the grids I'm getting the columns and here it's created in the 3D view as shown. Okay. Now I'm going to create the slab. Here I have the base level. I have to show the first floor level. Now the windows and from the structure here. Okay. Here the from levels. I'll go to the first floor level shown here now the first floor level okay again i'll go to the model and the flat slab showing the property i'll decide the overall depth like 250 mm then i will drag above the first floor level and like this it will be created it is shown here also now i'll create beams all around the slab i'm going to the beam and here it is concrete and the concrete grade i will select 5000 psi the section 250 by 500 and the reinforcement grade it's okay 60 and here the cover 40. okay now i'm going to drag above the outer lines as you see the beams it's created here in the three model are also shown now i have created these beams by clicking the right mouse you can rotate the model like this okay after creating the full model i'll just save the model, I'll name it like flat slab, flat 
that's that module. Okay, save. Okay, at this moment, I'll go to create the loading. So from loading, I'll go to the load case. Load cases, it's no, I will delete, I don't need. All of live load, I don't need. I will leave only dead and live, like this. Press OK. I'm going to apply the load on the slab itself from this down list. I will use the dead load and I will use the level load. Then here I will use 5, OK, for the dead. Then by clicking on the slab, I will create the loading and the 2D I can show. The 3D I can show like this. So it is already created. Then after that, I will go to live load and again level loading I will use also 5 kN per meter square also live load and I will click on the slab and as shown it is created. Now I am going to create the load combination on this icon I will use generate next and in this example I will use only one combination just to show how to design the flat slab next next and I will use all of these click finish these are the load combinations and ok now after I finish the model I'll go to validate the model. Validate. As you see, our model is validated. Okay, I will go to the analysis. I can show also the show process here. Analysis. Then after that, I will go to the design. Design all. After finishing the design, I can show here in 3D. As you see, all the columns are in green, it is pass, and the outer beams also. Now I'll go to design slab. As you see, our slab failed. We can just right click and go to check panel, and here we'll see what is the problem in the, the problem the top reinforcement moment capacity so it is failed top x and top y okay so we'll go to increase the slab depth i'll select the slab then i'll go to the total depth i'll use 300 after that, again, I will go to the model, validate again the model. It's OK. Then analysis, I will reanalyze all the model again. Then after that, I will go to design. I will do all the design again. And I can see from here, all columns and beams are green. Pass. Then we will go to the slab design. After that, again the slab it is not okay. We'll go to check panel and we'll see it is top X reinforcement. Top Y is okay now, but top X reinforcement is not okay. Now at this moment I'll proceed to the punching shear design for the slab, which is the main purpose of this video. So how to start the punching shear design? We have to create punching check points and by clicking this icon I can select the entire column one by one or I can drag like this for all entire columns so as you see it is the program creating punching shear area check so now we can go to design punching shear as you see the program creating the punching shear reinforcement 
on this parameter and if we right click here on this punching check area and check punching it is okay now it's pass and we can from right click also edit the reinforcement and as you see the reinforcement alignment is like this it is orthogonal we can use also radial the form part is the grade and the bar size and spacing from the face of column to start the the first stud and then spacing between the studs so like this we can see the we can edit the reinforcement and from right click also we can go to generate detail drawings from here just click ok by clicking ok it will show the in autocad the drawings like this these are the studs and we have eight rails and as you see here the, this is the diameter stud height and how many stud per rail here we have four stud one two three four like this the spacing between the studs and rail length and number of rails all details here shown and here the spacing from the face of the column and spacing in between the studs itself like this we can create full details of the punching shear stud and we can get the punching shear design for the flat slab in another way we can deal with the subject of the punching shear by providing a drop panel above the columns and here I will show you how to use the drop panel in Tecla Structural Designer if we go to the model and then here column drop as you see this icon I can select this icon then the property coming for the drop depth and this is the total depth along with the slab so if I have 300 slab thickness so I will use 150 draw so it will be 450 mm total now I can select the columns which I want to provide the drop panel like this by clicking on the column itself and I can add by dragging on all entire columns like this And you see in the 3D, these are the drop panels already created. Okay. After that, I will go to the model, validate, then analysis, analyze all. After that, I will go to the design and design all for static and you can see here all columns and beams are passed and then I'll go to the design slab now the slab is passed then I'll go to the punching shear design by starting with punching check then I'll select column by column I or, or I will drag all the entire columns so these are the punching check at this moment I can go to design punching shear and now it's already designed I can right click right click on this punch check then check punching shear you see it is pass so in this case I eliminate the punching shear enforcement while using the draw panel after that I can create reports 
If I go to the report and I can go to the material list, then show report, then I can export the report to Excel. Then, once it's created, it will be opened by Excel sheet. And as you see, all the material are here in the beams, columns, with the grade, sizes, everything, total mass also of concrete, slab, the reinforcement bars, all. and a summary of the total concrete masses and beams, columns and slabs. Like this I can get the report for the material listing. Then after that I can go to drawings and I can create by going to drawings I can create the drawing management creating general general arrangement add and I can click the content slab levels by dragging slab levels okay and the layout okay then view drawings the scale if I make it 1 to 50 then press okay it will show the levels like this here I have the flat slab model general arrangements scale 1 to 50 this is the column layout and this is the slab layout these are the beams shown and this is the slab S1300 this is the general, general arrangement drawings and I can also provide column schedule. Okay, and I can get the column schedule, it is only one column, but this is, and this is the schedule. Here are the reinforcement and the arrangement as shown. I can also get the beam schedule also by clicking OK I'm getting the full beam schedule with bar bending schedule all the details and here the beams, the bottom bars, top bars with the dimension stirrups, everything so I can get also the slab detailing okay like this I'm getting all the slab detail these are the reinforcement additional above the columns and the slab reinforcement itself here and the schedule of reinforcement and total mass like this I can get all the required details in AutoCAD drawings. If you have any comments, please write it under this video and I will be happy to answer all the comments. Uh, at this point, I will end this subject. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.